This meeting is being recorded. This is the second recording I've done today. Based on this um, Isle of Wight thing. That, <laughs> I'm not going to redo the whole thing, but my vote, I had the wrong speaker on. Um, today's subject is Isle of Wight. I've, I started off with this image. Sand down Isle of Wight. I thought, mm, yeah, if I could do that pretty quick. And then hunting around, I just, well, I just looked again. I found this. I, just, I didn't realise I had a pier. And I thought, oh, yeah, and a, and a wow sunset. It hasn't printed very well on my machine, but it's quite a good, hang on, let's get rid of that. It's fallen off. It's quite a nice sunset -y image that we could play with. And then I th thought, hmm, wouldn't it be good if we could have the pier and the headland? I think it might be Seven Sisters or something like that, or part of them, three of them. <laughs> um, if we could compose it so that, you know, that was in the image as well. So what I did using my computer wizardry, you might be able to see it on there. I layered one image on top of the other, so the background has got like that headland. It actually looks like the Isle of Wight in the background of Bournemouth Pier, but hey ho, such as the thing. Um, I thought, hmm, that'd be good. So that kind of worked. I initially did a sketch on the back of one of these bits of paper. I think it might be this one, yeah, with the headland at the back and the pier going out into it. But the problem with that is you can't, I couldn't find a picture of what goes on the other side of the pier, the end of the pier, or the front of the pier as it happens. Um, and I think after sketching it again, I think it's looking, it's much easier this way. So we've got that and I'll send you these anyway. There's a little line drawing of the pier. Didn't come out very well, that one. But it, I did it for the sticks. You can see the sticks holding it up. Squint your eyes. Then I printed Then I printed out a black and white one, which is even nicer. So that's quite nice. Oh, just spotted something. Hmm. That's different. Ah, it's different view, isn't it? This is different view to that. So what I've done now is I've done a composite sketch. So here's the I've sketched in the pier here. It's just going through either one of these um, drawings, really. But as you can see, there's a, a little square building here that we can put in, and this is all going to be white. And we've got, I always think these look like shops, don't they? But we can, <laughs> they're obviously something. And what I've done is I've drawn the pier in with a line there. Well, that line, that won't be there because the, that, that was my original horizon line, but my eye level but obviously it's I've moved or I'm moving the, the horizon up to where it meets the eye of the headland and I've very I've put it in there this little headland and that'll be green there so that and that'll stand out but I'll paint it I'll try and do it faint Carol's going to whinge because I'll probably mask that out, <laughs> that little bit there, um, just to preserve it. Then I've incorporated the groin, not that groin, the groin from this this image, which is quite nice. I like these little anchor, little bits holding the, pit, the groin up. So we'll have some fun with that. Um, and I thought mm, this might be a good idea to put some figures in as well. But looking at that, we've got might 
Mm. I can't keep the head levels identical. I could try, but I don't think maybe head level there, eye level, head level. The trouble is I have a couple of giants walking. So maybe that's maybe that'll work. And why not? Walking along. Try and keep the if I try and keep the head level the same, then I'll move these these figures down. Let's push these down a bit here. Give it some sort of scale and distance. Gordon will know more about this sort of perspective thing. Yeah, I think I was right in the first place actually looking at it. But anyway, that's the idea that I'll have a couple of figures there. Perhaps these yeah, that works quite well actually. Mm, quite like that. We'll have the shadow, not sure which way it's gonna have to go yet. Till I do the sky, which I'm gonna we're gonna have to try and do quite a, be nice to do a nice dramatic sky. There's two buildings here, aren't there? There's this bit goes off, then that bit goes off there. There's one, one, two, three of those. Then a little doody bit. One, two, three, and that's that bit there. And there is a, a little joining bit there. Shadow area. Just a quick doodle scale, really. And there's a lot of window bits in. And that will strengthen up across there. Oops, wibbly hands this morning. A bit of shadow there, just and that'll be it then. So now we've got all I've got to do now is transfer this sketch onto here. It's just an A3 dumb bit of paper. It's quite thick this paper. And that's tomorrow's doodle. At some point this afternoon or this morning I'll try and recreate that sketch onto my um, watercolour paper, which I've stretched as usual. Actually, there's a chicken underneath here. <laughs> like an A3 chicken about that size, stretched underneath this one. I didn't want to, I didn't think I'd finished the chicken. <laughs> so I've left it underneath. Then when I take this off, I'll all will be revealed and I can carry on working. Oh, one thing I didn't know is there's that groin. Um, don't know what they're called. This thing. So at some point we can get this. This is a an awesome um vertical with a red top on it. Be careful of that. Make it soft, the red, so that it doesn't lead the eye out or make these equal red. Otherwise, that'll tend to push the eye into that corner. But it needs to be there because it's part of the picture. Awesome or awesome. I've written on words. Go and get the kettle on, Dave. Yes, dear. <laughs> See you later.